Alrighty there mates, welcome back and in the last video, what did we learn how to do? We learned how to make a window and look how boring this is, a blank window that you can close out of. Oh my god, that's so cool. Alright, so that was pretty boring. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add a button to your window and also whenever the user clicks it, I'm going to show you guys how to call a function and we'll just do something stupid like print some text out to the terminal. Now, before we begin, just so we ensure that we are using the best programming practices, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use object oriented programming from here on out instead of jumbling everything together. So before what we did is we created an object right from this main GCK window class and that's great and all, but what we're going to do in this example is we're actually going to make our own class and I'm going to name my main window. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it button window, button program, whatever. And the class that we're going to make is actually going to inherit from GTK window. Now, whenever you inherit from a class, not only do you get all of the stuff that was in that class, but we can also add some cool functionality to it. So, instead of whenever we run our program it's just a gtk window which is a plain window this is going to be of type main window which is pretty much just, just the same thing but with our features as well whatever we decide to add now the first thing i'm going to do in our new shiny new class is i'm going to make a constructor now let me give myself one more line of code right there now for our constructor i'm actually going to call our super classes constructor wait a minute why are you calling that constructor with our constructor well from here what we can do is we can actually set the title of the window so the title is just going to be equal to um i'll just write title of window that's a super creative i know so title of window and the title of window of course is the thing that appears on this top bar right here so instead of just being blank or whatever you know your file name was you're gonna have all these buttons still but then you see this one is tutorials desktop tutorials um it's just gonna say title of window right here actually let me name it the button clicker 2.0 even though this is the first version of this program i like naming everything 2.0 just because i think it sounds cool all right give myself a little bit more room to type so now we have a blank window it has a pretty cool title but you know it's still a blank window not that impressive well the next thing we want to do is actually create the button and let me comment this all right so in order to create a button just write self button and set this equal to gtk dot button so a button object one of the properties that it can have is a label and the label of your button is just the text that appears on your button. So I'll just write like a click here. Clicker here. All right, so there you go, looking good. Now remember, actually let me do this. All right, so you know down here when I talk to you guys about signals, so basically, when something emits a signal, it means that it did something. And with your signals, there are different signals for different objects. Of course, you don't have a main quit button on a button because there's no X button on a button, only your window. And likewise, one of the most important things you're always gonna do with the button is you're gonna connect the clicked signals. So connect clicked and after this what you can do is you can say okay now whenever the user clicks this button the next parameter is what do you want to do now we really don't have a whole lot going on right now so I'm gonna make a function later on that just prints some text out on the screen and I'll name that function button clicked so again this is gonna probably give me a little warning because I didn't create it yet but we will in just a second 
and we have our button created looking good the last thing we actually need to do to display it is just to add it to the screen so we want to add something what do you want to add well just that button all right cool 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 so we have a constructor we have our main window and the last thing we need to do is we need to make this button clicked function because we say whenever the user clicks this call a button in this class called button clicked so we probably need one i'll say uh user clicks button so define button clicked and from here you need to pass it in self widget and by the way a widget is just an item that you can add um, right now you're looking at a button which is one type but there are also like sliders and trees and menus and yada yada a whole bunch of stuff and we're gonna be covering um, mostly all the widgets in the upcoming tutorials but for now um, there you go and from here we'll just print something out that's really dumb we'll just say game time and all right typo typo looking good all right so that's pretty much all we have to do from here and hopefully when i run this check out what happens we get <laughs> this is the tiniest program i have ever seen in my life look at this window it's like the size of my thumbnail <laughs> i don't even know if you guys can see it on youtube but we have a window that is one pixel by one pixel tall and we have a tiny button in here that says click here now whenever I click it, let me move this closer. Whenever we click this button, it just prints out game time on the screen. So again, what we did is we created a class and this class resembled our entire window, that one pixel by one pixel thing. And we have two functions in our class. One is the constructor. So whenever you call it, what's the first thing that you want to happen? And all we did here is we set the window, the title of it, and we created a button. And then on our button, we said whenever the user clicks it and it emits a click signal, then call this method right here. And then all this method did is it printed out game time. Pretty easy stuff. So there you go. That is how you create a button and add it to your window. And in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a bunch of different widgets and also layouts. It's going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys then.